Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to start off by giving you an overview of the situation here. There is a link to the article if you'd rather go through that. My overview should be pretty thorough. I will scroll through to make sure I give you all of the key details. Uh, but in essence, this is in regards to an incident that happened in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee, America. Um, and six teenagers have been shot. Four of the teenagers face non-life-threatening injuries. However, two of the teenagers that have been shot are in very, very critical condition. Um, now, this article that I'm reading through was published really at the beginning of the day, and we're now at the end of the day for myself. Um, so there is the chance that that has changed, but we hope and pray first and foremost for all of the injured, but particularly those two that are, are in critical condition we hope that they do survive we we hope and pray that all of the injured are able to make full recoveries but again four of the six teenagers that have been shot have non-life-threatening injuries uh, we don't know how serious they are but they are non-life-threatening two however face critical uh, are, are in critical condition so i'm going to tell you about what happened this happened saturday night around 11 p.m. in the downtown Chattanooga area and seemingly there were two large groups of youths uh, that were having some kind of altercation between themselves they were they were beefing these two groups now the police happened to be in the area when they heard shots thankfully the officers were able to run to the area and provide aid to those that had been shot uh, they weren't able to make any arrests. Uh, they did apprehend one suspect that was since uh, released. And at this point, or or rather at the point that the article was made this morning, uh, no arrest had been made. So what's described as, of, uh, as to what's happened or did happen uh, is that two armed people from one group all of a sudden started shooting at one particular individual in the other group. So they only had one target in the other group, but of course they were shooting, you know, towards that target presumably, but at the same time somewhat indiscriminately, I would say, uh, at that entire group, uh, which led to six people being shot. Um, so there is security footage. We hope that the police are are able to get a better handle on things than they currently have i don't like being too critical towards the police generally speaking uh but to me i'm disappointed that they don't have any suspects that they haven't made any arrests uh they ought to be able to identify who these guys are i mean there, there are six victims and they're they're those that are that are able to when they're able to act as a witness they'll be able to inform the officers as to who the other parties are or point them in the right direction seemingly um and you know if you're a part of a group that and one or two individuals started shooting at other people if the police come knocking on your door that person ought to come forward and rat inform uh, give the correct information to the officers uh, so that the culprits are arrested and if it is a situation such that those other members in the group the non-shooters try to protect the shooters by lying by not coming forward by not informing the officers as to who the guilty parties are then i would hope that um, such people do face criminal charges themselves um Strangely, the article is telling us that it's not 100% out, uh, ruled out, but the general feeling uh, within the police is that this is not a gang-related incident. And that kind of boggles my mind. I mean, I've got to presume that the police know what they're talking about. Um, I would have thought that it would be pretty obvious if it was gang-related, that they ought to have figured that out at this point. Um, but if, if let's say if they're right that it's not gang-related, uh, it's not a gang related shooting then what does that mean does that mean that when a group of people a group of youths a group of teenagers perhaps mostly boys maybe not maybe it's a mix of girls too 
Um, but does it mean that it's normal for these guys to start shooting at each other if there's a beef involved? I, I remember, you know, growing up, I used to go out for a few drinks, maybe a couple of other things, uh, and altercations would happen. You know, you, you'd get into arguments with people. You're, you're with a group of friends and maybe um, there's another group and they are, are causing problems with one of your friends and you stick up for each other, of course. So incidences do happen. Fights happen. They've always happened. Uh, but when I grew up in my personal experience, um, yeah, I was involved in a few fights. Um, but it was all fisticuffs. Fists were used. And that's pretty much it. Uh, people got hurt, but nobody was seriously injured. There would be no hospitalizations. And it's just sad to me that perhaps right now in America, some parts of America, again, this happened in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee, um, perhaps it's fairly normal for groups of youths to shoot at each other, even if it's not gang-related, even if it's not, um, you know, uh, to, you know, why, why do gang, gangs shoot at each other to, to kill their opposition uh, for, for whatever reason, just because of some minor trivial altercation, whatever it happens to be. That's crazy, man. So, I don't know. I've gone on a bit of a ramble there. Perhaps that's a little bit silly. I'm going to wrap things up here. I do hope that the investigation is able to get some leads. Uh, there will be CCTV in the area. So, I'd be hopeful. I feel that the police ought to be able to figure this one out. But, you know, what do I know? Um, again, prayers to those that are injured and their families, particularly the two that are critical and we do hope that they are able to make a full recovery so i'll wrap things up here guys i think i've got a energy for one perhaps two more videos this evening and i'll thank you for your time